So this is how I'm uh, basically testing chat GBT and I, I do recommend testing it thoroughly before you actually implement it into any of your uh, workflows. The reason being is that chat GPT can get a little funny in terms of what it says back to you. And uh, uh, it's not gonna say the same thing every time. You're gonna have to give it a good amount of information. So all of this text up here is the instructions. While wow, this is the kind of the message, I just don't want it to, it's, it's I'm basically, using seeing if chat gbt can take the place of spin tax because it it's genuinely going to do a better job with than spin tax is probably right so um spin tax can't it works great for the spam filters but it does tend to sound the same because you're basically using synonyms or fra synonym phrases so it's the same sentence structure or it's structured as this one particular sentence. It doesn't change from that format. You know what I mean? If you view spin tax, you kind of should know what I mean. The difference with chat GBT is it may give you a longer message. It may give you a shorter message. It's going to vary it if you use if you put prompt it to give you a comical tone, it's going to give you different kinds of jokes within the sentences, within what it what it types. So um, I suggest having a testing workflow that you can trigger. So I have this workflow right here. And what I do is, let's see, what I do is it basically is, it contains the phrase yo MF. So it's kind of like yo mf -er. Um, but so I, I, I'm from my phone, I'm texting that to, um, to my system just to see what responses it gives me. So now I can come in here and I can test any types of prompts. Once the prompt works the way I want, then I'll just copy it from here and stick it into my actual workflow. So my workflow can be, you know, all kinds of tiers long. But if wherever I'm using ChatGPT, I'm coming back to this section to test it first before I put it into the workflow. Because as you know, if you test the, the entire workflow, you got to go through all these channels. You can you can fast forward through some of that stuff, but it, it just takes forever. So the best thing to do is to have a testing workflow that you can use, then just copy this information into what you're going to use later. So. I hope that helps. This is just a quick tip that I wanted to give on working with the new chat GPT feature in REI Reply. It's great. It's excellent. And if you're going to use it in your workflows, you want to be able to um, test it out first because it can give you some funky responses. Hope that helps.